What's going on, guys? Another episode of Williston Audio Extras. Let's talk about the Zapco C2K 4KW. From 2002, this thing was 6000 US dollars. And it's a beaut. You can see here, it looks kind of fat, don't it? <laughs> well, that's because it is. Now, this is back from 2018. Had a few friends visit. Uh, Robert Hafa Vega and JDR came from Texas and Arkansas to visit. And they brought a couple amps. And then we used a few of my amps here to lay out to show some awesomeness between the Sony XM2000R the JBL A6000 GTI, Phoenix Gold The One. This is a prototype. But if you notice right there on the left, under the Phoenix Gold, the Zapco, which the picture really doesn't do it justice here because the amp is really big and really thick. And here it is. <laughs> it's really two amps stacked together, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. But uh, yeah, this was a fun time. The guys came, we dyno tested a bunch of amps. Check the link in the video description. I'll leave a link to the other amps that we tested. The C2K4KW.P is a massive monstrosity of an amplifier, especially for 2002. This amplifier was two 9.0 XD boards in a single chassis. And it says it will pound at over 1,000 watts times four channels and two ohms or up to 5,000 bridged. 19.5 by 10.5 by 7.5 inches in, in size. So yeah, it is kind of big. And you can see here, it really looks like two amps stacked on top of each other. That's because it is on one end. And there's a whole lot of buttons and switches and lights and all kind of crazy stuff here. And I'm not going to go over it in too much detail because the manual honestly even confuses me. But I'm numbering some things here, and you can pause this if you want to see the mode select. There's an input. There's a speaker terminals. This does use special connections, DIN connections for the inputs. And either you have to use something like a balance line transmitter like you see here, or you can use a little adapter. On the opposite side, you have 1.0 inputs uh, per amp. So you have two total, and you have the remote connections for in and out and a fan in the middle. Again, this amp, you know, it's really tall. I mean, two 2,000 watt amps stacked on top of each other is not a small amplifier, but uh, this was made in the USA, a specialty item from Zapco. So very cool. As far as ratings go, talking about bridge at 8 ohms, 1,200 by 2, at 4 ohms, 2,000 by 2. So let's fire up the good old amp dyno. And what we're going to do is we're going to test one of the two amps. Because at the time of this video, I didn't really have enough juice to run both of them at the same time. 8 ohms is rated 1,200 watts. So let's do the certified run here at 8 ohms. And this would be uh, 600 watts per channel, 1,200 watts total. We got 1,564 watts at 14.3. So it easily did its rated power and more. Let's check out the current consumption. And that doesn't look right. 105.1, 104% efficiency. Yeah, right. Thanks, Big D. This is Dick Riculous. D Obviously, the battery in my clamp meter was not up to snuff. Uh, four ohms bridge rate, 2,000 watts times two. And let's try the certified test first. 1% total harmonic distortion. Can we get that 2,000 watts? And yes, 25.54 at 13.82. Pull 209.3 amps. We'll show the efficiency uh, later again. I think it's a little high, but we'll still show you what we got. Uncertified, 1% THD. We got right about the same. So close, 25.70. 13.79. At the time of these videos, I was using my cap bank. And um, the voltage would not stay quite as stable as what we have now with the LTO bank. But a lot of you guys like to see the lower voltages anyway into the 13. So here you go. Dynamic, 40 hertz pulse track. Did not do quite as much as I thought. I thought it would give a lot more dynamic power. Actually put less dynamic than it did in the other two um, measurements. We got 2302 at 13.65. Now, the efficiency we measured at four ohms is 88%. That sounds a little better, but um, again, I'm not sure about the battery and everything going on with the clamp meter. What's inside? Now, I did use Facebook because I didn't take our amp apart a couple years ago. 
So Ninon Kondik, thank you very much for the photos here of your um, 9.0 XD. And again, this is one of the two amps that are inside, but they look virtually identical. You can see all the filtering there for inputs and also the rail caps on the other end. And yeah, the amp just looks nice overall. Now in 2016, Zapco stepped it up and said, we've got a 26 KW amplifier. And at the time, this was the Mac Daddy of all Mac Daddy amplifiers. Six, that's right, six 1.0 inputs on this amplifier. And it gave an original MSRP of 12,000 US dollars, was 20,000 watts at two ohms. Here's Brad, Legends of Car Audio. So we don't have one of these to test. It's too much for the Amp Dyno anyway, but thought you guys would like to see it. And that's all I have for this video. Appreciate you guys watching as always. Make sure you subscribe. This is my extras channel where I just do quick behind the scenes type videos and stuff that's less edited. But as always, I thank you for watching. Until next time, Big D, you know where I'm at. I'm out of here.